Good morning, ladies. Hand feeding thousands of bees wasn't the winter Grantley Johnson had planned for. Well, girls, you've done a brilliant job. You must have been hungry. You've eaten it all. As one of the island's largest honey producers for the tourism market, business was buzzing. Let's have a look at you. He'd planned to grow his 380 hives to 800 this year. It just grew from there. It just, it just took off. And uh, you end up with hundreds of hives. Um, yeah, and... But now I'm, I'm only back to maybe 100 now. Kangaroo Island is a sanctuary for one of the world's purest strain of Ligurian honeybees. Despite more than a quarter of the island's 4,000 hives burning, keepers have been told not to rebuild. We don't want to just start rebuilding hive numbers where there's nowhere to put them um, and no resources available. So in some regards, we need to try and match the rebuild with the regeneration of, of the damaged areas. So it is quite difficult. To be cautious in expansion at the moment until we know we can actually support the vast amounts, potentially what people will want to recover. Um, it's a human nature to want to recover for that, but we just have to see how it really pans out. It's a tough pill to swallow for keepers like Grantley Johnson, who lost 85% of his hives and his income. You're bringing in some pollen, you found some trees somewhere, very good. We'll work it out and we'll see what Mother Nature does a few years down the track, whether we can expand or, or, or not. But that will take time. Time that the keepers are willing to give up for the good of the industry. Brittany Evans, ABC News.